It was a night like any other in the sleepy town of Hollow Ridge until a strange green glow flickered in the sky and lit up the old cornfields. Residents chalked it up to a meteor, maybe a weather balloon. But for young Eli, an aspiring astronomer, this was no ordinary sight. Eli grabbed his telescope and hurried into the fields. As he adjusted the focus, he saw something that sent chills down his spine, a sleek, silvery pod half buried in the ground. Suddenly, the hatch slid open with a quiet hiss, and a figure emerged, an alien, with skin the color of deep space, eyes like starlight, and a curious, almost childlike expression. The alien extended a hand, and against a sphere, Eli reached out and shook it. The alien then held up a small device that projected a series of holograms, a map of stars, a galaxy far away, and images of its own kind, all working to build strange machines. But one image was the most striking. It showed Earth, circled in red. Eli realized this was no accident. The alien wasn't lost. It was here for a reason. Just then, Eli heard voices and footsteps. The townspeople, armed and alarmed, had come to investigate. Wait, Eli shouted, shielding the alien. He managed to calm the crowd and explained the creature was here peacefully, seeking knowledge, maybe even friendship. To prove its goodwill, the alien shared images of Earth's atmosphere deteriorating, scenes of pollution and disasters. Through more holograms, it showed how its own planet faced a similar crisis long ago and how they survived by using sustainable technology. That night, the alien quietly returned to its pod and vanished into the stars, leaving only a single piece of tech behind. Eli and the townspeople could barely understand its design, but it sparked a wave of curiosity and innovation that transformed Hollow Ridge into a hub of sustainable science. Eli never saw the alien again, but he knew somewhere in the vast universe they were watching. And so, Hollow Ridge became a beacon of progress, inspired by the visitor from the stars, the stranger who'd come not to conquer, but to teach and to remind Earth that in the universe, they were never truly alone.